Today I'm going to read Emily and the Big Bad Bunyip, written by Jackie French and illustrated by Bruce Watley. It was Christmas Day in Shaggy Gully. The kangaroos were bouncy. The echidnas were being prickly. The emus were feeling peckish. The koalas were eating gum leaves. The bats and possums were just hanging about. The cockatoos crooned and the kookaburras chortled in tune as carols rang out through the bush. Dingle, 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 jingled Ringo the dingo. Zappa, 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 rapped the Christmas beetles' drums. Blurt, began Emily's tuba. Suddenly, a ghastly groan floated up from Shaggy Gully Creek. Ooh, I'm mad and I'm mean. I'm the bunyip. Ugh! He bawled and he bellowed. He whined and he sighed. Ugh! Bleated Emily's tuba too. Do try to stay in tune, Emily, sighed Miss Dawn, conductor of the Shaggy Gully Chorus. Sorry, but that bunyip moan makes my tuba groan, explained Emily. Bunyips always howl and scare people, said Miss Dawn, shrugging. But it's Christmas, exclaimed Emily. Even a bunyip should smile on Christmas Day. The shaggy gully chorus ran down to the creek. Bunyip, called Emily. It's Christmas. We're here to make you smile. A bellow rose from the water. Go away. I'm mad and I'm mean. I'm the bunyip. Emily took no notice. Suddenly, a giant shape surged out of the creek. He was green. He was wet. He was big. He was the bunyip. And he wasn't smiling. We'll make you a Christmas tree, announced Emily. Ugh, I'm mad and I'm mean. I don't want a Christmas tree, yowled the bunyip. Emily took no notice. In no time at all, a Christmas tree grew before him. But the bunyip did not smile. I know what you need, exclaimed Emily. Some Christmas dinner. Ugh, bawled the bunyip. I'm mad and I mean I don't want any Christmas dinner. Emily took no notice. Ringo the dingo brought his biggest bone. The chorus fetched their wiggliest worms. The koalas brought gum leaves because that's what koalas do best. But still, the bunyip didn't smile. Christmas presents make everyone smile, declared Emily. Nah, thundered the bunyip. I'm mad and I'm mean. I'm a bunyip. Bunyips don't like Christmas! No presents! Emily took no notice. One by one, all the animals bought a special present for the bunyip. But still, the bunyip didn't smile. What do we do now? wondered Ringo the dingo. Emily's feathers drooped. I don't know. Maybe we can play in one last carol. 
the shaggy gully chorus began to play. Dingle, 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 tingled Ringo, Ringo the dingo. Zappa, 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 rapped the Christmas beetle's drums. Oompa, 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 wailed Emily's tuba sadly. Suddenly, the bunyip smiled. And then he beamed. And then he laughed aloud. <laughs> What's that sound? He cried. That's just my tuba, apologised Emily. I can't play in tune today. It's the most horrible, terrifying noise I've ever heard. I love it, shouted the bunyip. He grabbed Emily's tuba and began to play. Boo! blared the tuba. Ooh! moaned the shaggy gully chorus as the tuba yowled and howled and shivered and quivered and shrieked and screeched. That's the scariest, gloomiest and most hideous noise ever, they cried. Yes, isn't it? hollered the bunyip happily. It's what I've always wanted. So that's what bunyips like, said Emily. It was Christmas Day in Shaggy Gully. The kangaroos bounced. The emus pecked. The bats and possums just hung about. While up from the creek came the most growling and yowling, squawking and squalling racket in the world. Scary Christmas, everyone. Emily and the big, bad bunyip. <laughs>